Hi, this is David Lotion, President of Knowledge Integrity, and today we will be reviewing the virtuous cycle of data quality. As opposed to a vicious cycle, each time we cycle through our virtuous cycle, the effects are to increase the value of the ways that an organization's information asset supports the achievement of business objectives. Our cycle consists of five stages. We'll begin our cycle by seeking to understand the scope of how poor data quality affects the ways that the business processes are intended to run. This is a combination of a top-down and a bottom-up approach. The top-down activity that surveys the business users of the data documents what they are doing, how they use information, and what are their most significant sources of pain with respect to the data. The bottom-up component employs statistical and data analysis tools and techniques such as data profiling to identify potential data anomalies that can be reviewed with subject matter experts. The second stage has the data quality analysts synthesize the results of both the top-down and the bottom up activities and concentrate on the data elements that are deemed critical based on the selected business user's needs. In turn, the results of the empirical analysis will provide some types of measures that can be used to assess the levels of data quality within a particular business context. Any areas of interest in which the data does not meet the acceptability thresholds are candidates for review. And that leads us to stage three. During stage three, the data quality issues are prioritized based on their severity, as well as the feasibility for remediation. Once that's done, a plan for action can be developed and selected solutions can be considered and designed for implementation. Once those solutions have been designed, the fourth stage is to actually implement them. This might consist of purchasing some tools, instituting some measurements and metrics, perhaps doing some correction, etc. The remediation may consist of corrections or notifications and may not be limited to just installing those tools, but may actually involve providing training to staff members on the operational process improvements. Having identified data quality rules and acceptability thresholds in stage two, and having developed methods for measuring the data against those rules, stage five allows the data quality analysts to review the degree to which the data does or does not meet those levels of acceptability. This can be implemented on an ongoing basis using inspection and monitoring capabilities to get periodic metrics scores reported through some kind of scorecard. If there are issues to be researched, the data stewards are notified and a separate resolution process can be kicked off. Meanwhile, this brings us back to the beginning, in which perhaps a different data set within the same business process or even a different business process can be selected for analysis. You see that there's a duality in the phasing of these tasks. The first two tasks are analysis tasks that can be used to assess a target data set and figure out if there are any egregious errors that are impacting the way the business is being performed. The third, fourth, and fifth tasks are the action tasks, and those are intended to put together a plan of attack and to execute against that plan. Together, these two phases provide a repeatable process for incrementally accumulating metrics that can be used for measuring data quality, and those, as I said before, can contribute to populating a data quality scorecard. Thanks, this is David Lotion from Knowledge Integrity.